I am Rob. I am Katie. And this is Care Can't... from Paris. <laughs> oh, I just threw it out. Okay. All right. So Katie. today we are returning with what segment are we returning with, Katie? That's right, Katie. It is the spectacular seltzer off shenanigans. I don't remember what I called it. Spectacular shenanigans seltzer off. Something like that. Some iteration of that. All right. We are back. But this time, we have completed, to my knowledge, the... The gauntlet that was truly... There you go. So now we're moving on to something entirely different that is still seltzer, which is... Topo Chico. Topo Chico. And if you've seen this, is actually not the first time we've done Topo Chico here. Because we did Correct. Our Cause ginger beer. Correct. Because we did beer. ginger beer, which right. they had a mixer. Yes. So. So and we can you can learn all about how we felt about their ginger beer, their non-alcoholic drink, because ginger beer is not alcoholic, and that's whew, up there. But more importantly, always drink responsibly. You know how this works, right? We're doing this to see you know what is the best seltzer because I don't know I, I enjoy seltzers. You know, it's a good summery I mean, drink. Exactly. I was right? thinking that. Yeah. So okay, what do we know about Topo Chico that we didn't learn? in the ginger beer episode. Not a whole lot. Oh crap. What? What's wrong? Battery. Oh. So what do we need to know about Topo Chico that we didn't learn in the ginger beer episode? Nothing. Nothing? We've, I couldn't we find anything new. I couldn't even, I don't even know when these came out. I try to go on the Topo Chico website mm. for the seltzers. How long has Topo Chico been around for? Uh, at least like the late 1800s, early 1900s. Oh, so they're starting to they're lose from, their history, is what we're saying? Possibly, or they're like, it doesn't really matter. It was, so they're from Monterey, Mexico. Okay. So. It, where is so, that? Is that like Baja, Mexico area? No, no, no idea. I don't know Monterey, Mexico. Is. Um, is that where Jack is from? What? Jack. Is he from there? The guy who made the cheese? <laughs> that took me way too long. Anyway. Um, so anyway, it's named after Cerro del Topo Chico, which is like a naturally like carbonated kind of like spring or water. Oh, wait, place. they did the same thing for their uh, for their ginger beer then, right? Mm -hmm. they, they did the spring water thing. Okay, carry on. Something like that. So that's all I could find of like this is in the spirit of like your regular Topo Chico, but it's a hard seltzer, and it I think it's made with some sort of vodka. Oh, interesting. Yeah, fair enough. Um, and so that obviously means that it is gluten free. So if you are gluten intolerant or you have celiac disease or anything like that, this <clears throat> may be an option for you if you want to purchase an alcohol. Was the Trulies not gluten free? They were. Oh, we don't remember. It's been a while. I believe they were. Okay. I yeah, I think they were gluten free, but they they weren't in vodka. They were some kind of like a malt beverage. Oh, interesting. Also, I'm noticing this like says fermenting of sugar. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm noticing this says uh, it's part of the Coca Cola company. Yes. Bottled in. Uh, I don't Milwaukee. remember when they were acquired by them, but they are. So it's it's it's, it's approaching that thing that a yeah. lot of companies have when they get to be a certain age or just acquired by larger and larger companies that it doesn't seem to have much of a history. At least the history is being lost, whatever happened, which is which is tragic. So I mean, they do say pretty, kind of all over the can. Actually, twenty one plus contains alcohol on the front, on the back. Please this enjoy one make responsibly. Sure you know. This one has the most metal can. I don't know what tells me that. So oh what? It says metal. Oh recycled metal can. Yeah, oh. it's just, the labeling on this is a lot different. Gluten free on the bottom. Yeah, it, like clean taste, enjoy chilled. Yeah, it's a little wordsier than some of the other ones we've seen. Also, I mean, just in looking at these, I felt like they were a lot bigger. They looked bigger. like they were, like, girthier. <laughs> they do, and I think it could yeah, be because like, it's, like... wider. Yeah, it's, like, it, I think it is actually, like, a thicker can. Because we compare these side-by-side side with the, some of the leftover Trulies that we had, and they're the same size, for the most part. But they just look... Huh. When I first took them out, like, they, yeah, they look... They look it more substantial. So these are all 4.7 alcohol by... 4.7% alcohol by, like, 100 calories each. Do they contain any... Oh, and it says it contains uh, added minerals for taste. So that's going to be across the board. So our flavors we have today is going to be Oasis Cherry, Strawberry Guava, which sounds really good, mm -hmm. Tangy Lemon Lime, and Tropical Mango. All these flavors sound fantastic. Yeah, I'm actually very excited. Yes, and also you like your fake cherry. I feel like we should do these two last because they're... Uh, what? 
because they're like the most interesting flavors. Like lemon lime just sounds like a Sprite and mango. I mean, I'm, I like mango, so maybe that, I don't know. But okay. cherry seems like your favorite usually, fake cherry. I love as it. You know. Okay. So. Yeah, you know, my mother was like, I never knew that you liked it that much. Fake cherry. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it became fake a cherry. thing. Yeah. All right. So are we just going to get into this then? I think so. Cool. We'll do this rapid fire. Real quick episode for the most part compared to how we usually do it. <gasps> After a message from these folks, whoever they are. All right. So tangy lemon lime. Ooh, that smells, it smells like a Sprite. But like in a good kind of way. It does. Right? Go for it. Drink, drink, sip, sip, sip. Oh, one sip. I don't like it's that. It's like a flat Sprite. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually kind of, that's actually not great. That's actually not great. It's... <laughs> I can taste the minerals. I can't taste the lemon I was going to say there is a very uh, um, mineral prominent mineral kind of taste to it, which makes sense. Huh. But nope. it, it, and it smells really good. It, it does, as someone who hasn't really, I don't know when the last time I had a Sprite was. Well, it's not, but, well, that's the thing, it's not overly sugary. So if you're not looking for some, although a lot of, some, a handful of the Trulies mm -hmm. that we've tried, some of the packaged, pack, different ones, tasted similar, mm -hmm. right? Where it was a really subdued flavor where it was more of a unsweetened. A hint of, of a whisper of a. Yeah, the LaCroix flavor. Interesting. So if you look for something a little more but mellow. It, it, but it is. It, it's, it's like a LaCroix. Kind of, but it doesn't have as much carbonation as what I would have thought because when we had the ginger beer from them, they were the most carbonated. Yeah, yep, yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, I this isn't my favorite. Okay, well, we're moving on to the mango, which smells super mango. It smells so sweet. It smells so mango y. Oh, it does. All right, go does ahead. this have any juice in it? I will check that in a moment. Much better. That's like 10 better. times better than the lemon. It's still subdued, but it's it has actual flavor this time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. No, I like that one. Does it have... Do you see anywhere? I don't see anything about... Oh, ingredients. Here we go. Uh, potassium chloride, acid, magnesium, Alcohol minerals, sugar. chase. A bit of sugar, natural flavors. Citric acid doesn't really say. So Why not are real you juice. allowed to just say natural flavors? Yeah. What All does right. that mean? We're going to go next with strawberry guava. That does act. That, I think out of all of these, that was the one I was most curious about. Let me know what you think. That one has a subtle smell, which made me think it's going to have a really subtle flavor. I can, can smell it. Yeah, I can smell you strawberry can, guava. But, but so far, mango has been the most that you, can, that you could actually detect. Right. That one is deceiving. It didn't smell like much, but it tasted more than it tasted how more it than smelled. it smelled. Yeah. Well, uh, unlike this, which smelled more than it tasted. Yes. Yeah. We're being very technical here. Huh. Okay. I don't mind that one. It's for some. Right. Maybe it's just the flavor itself. It it seemed a little sweeter. Just a tad. Yeah. Well, you mean the, it tasted a little sweeter than you would have thought? Yes, yeah. I agree. But it's still not particularly sweet. Like these aren't no. sweet. So, and I don't know, I feel something that I want a little more sweetness to it. I don't know. How do you, like, if I think would of like. Would you mix this with something? Like, if you were. No. I mean, it's already kind of its own thing. I don't know what you would mix a, a seltzer know. with. If anybody knows, go ahead and let us know in the comments down below what you would actually mix this with. All right, here we go. Oasis cherry. <laughs> Smells like cherries a little bit. Kind of subtle. More of a black cherry, though. I like black cherry. I know you do. Uh oh, there it is. There it is. It smells good. Okay, go for the sip. Sip, sip. There it is. Katie doesn't do shots very well. Mm -mm. Oh, that's. Mm. I like it. It kind of reminds me of. There was this. Uh, Story time. No, I, I think it was like Polar has like these seltzer waters, and they have a, they have a cherry like a black cherry flavor, and that's what it kind of reminds me of. You so they mentioned how they add minerals for flavor. Mm -hmm. And you can taste the minerals in all of these, whatever those minerals but some are. Some people like mineral water. No, and that's fine. I'm just, it's interesting. So if you like a mineral water and you don't like it overly bubbly mm -hmm. and you don't like it overly sweet, these might actually be good. Now, only two of these can move on. <sighs> so I, I don't think lemon, I think that was the worst. Yeah, so. I'm sorry. I, I really thought it. 
it would have been this should have been the most because, refreshing well because lemon is such a classic kind of flavor especially like even if you're not gonna have anything that's alcoholic like you go to a restaurant you have w water they're gonna ask oh do you want lemon do you want lemon in it right right and, it's, it kinda, and it's just kind of refreshing yeah. it's a hint of flavor it's something but yeah i'm a little surprised by that one okay now the question is of these three so i feel like cherry's mm -hmm. moving on but that could just be my bias. Do you I mean, like I think it? it's well. All right, quick, quick. We'll do some rapid fire testing. Let's see. Aren't they all gonna just like mix together if you do it that way? Yeah, I realized that part way through. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> say I feel like Cherry could move on. Do you think yeah. so? Just I did commit to the for a moment. Quick sip. Okay. That's the part where we get really thoughtful. I think the I think the tropical mango and the sh the strawberry guava. Strawberry guava is good. Uh oh, is cherry not moving on? I don't know. Yeah, cherry's moving on. Okay, so I feel like you could make a decent case like for either one of these. Yeah, because I do like the strawberry guava because it is kind of a distinct flavor. It's a it's an excellent combination to yes. to pair in a you know a drink. I just wanted it to have a tad bit more. So you're saying you want flavor. mango? In? Yeah, mango. Okay, because that at least it smells like what it tastes like. That's true. It's a little bit. I think it's one of the drier ones. Yeah, I agree. E did you not want the mango to move? I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I don't know. I'm kind of ambivalent. Um, but in the interest of keeping things simple, rather than having three moving on, we'll move on two of these. Okay. Right? So I don't suspect... I, can admit, I don't suspect they'll do well in the long run when we get to actually like, doing proper brackets or however we get decided to, to do this competition, whatever you want to call it. But... You know, if you like, again, something mineral flavored, lower on the carbonation, lighter on the flavor, and definitely a lot lower on, on sugar, you know, maybe this is for you. 100 calories. So it's not all that different from the other ones. I mean, 100, 100 calories, 2 grams of sugar. That's it. How does that work for, like, glycemic index? But the alcohol is going to probably just throw that off. I don't know how that works. Okay. I'm not diabetic. Or pre-diabetic. Or post-diabetic. This is when you're dead, right? Because the diabetes is one. Post diabetes. Anyway, that's all. I don't know. That's. Uh, <laughs> and on that note, drink uh, responsibly. Oh, please drink responsibly. Um, this is going to take us a while to drink, and I don't imagine I'll be reaching for one of these casually in the too too near future, just because they don't quench me the way that I'd like some of the other drinks do. Yeah, I agree. But that's okay. Final final thoughts. I thought we agreed. Oh, how much was it? Yeah. By the way. Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine for a pack of what was it? Twelve. I don't. I think it was. Can you see that far? I can. I cannot. Hang it on. died. Oh. Where can they find us? You can find us on Instagram at Care Compares. You can also find Rob at RJP underscore Films on, on Instagram. Instagram. Yes. Anyway, right, it is twelve. Okay. So there you go. Was truly a pack of 12? I think so. Okay. So it's not too bad. Yeah. And we also have... Uh... The light died, so it... Oh, the light did die. When did that happen? Just now. Oh. Why does that step away? Anyway. Better. Anyway, yeah. So also, you can find me on twitch.tv forward slash the original Nando and on TikTok at the original Nando as well if you want to see any gaming content, things of that nature. That's it. Next week episode. I don't know what the next one's going to be. We have to decide. What do you want to see us do in these seltzer... Off. <laughs> let us know in the comments down below we need to know also we're coming up on a year if you have any questions you would like us to answer later on and maybe we have a question and answer episode please let us know in the comments or send us a message of course on at care prepares or here you know or email us i think it's in there somewhere oh maybe whatever maybe okay. not i don't know if they send a message on we'll get the message through our email for our, our care compares account <laughs> bubbles ahead of me it's like the Sprite Challenge. It is like the Sprite Challenge. I'm Rob. And I'm Katie. Drink responsibly. Take care. <laughs>